Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reality that if your BMI is over 35, you're in bad shape. You're in a bad position. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, I'm going to be talking about the BMI in this video, and it triggers a lot of people. Some people won't watch this video uh, from start to finish, and they'll leave a comment down below calling me an idiot for using the BMI as a scale or even bring it into the discussion. But there is one way that the BMI is actually important, and that is why I am making this video. Now, let me state for the record that in general, the BMI is a very archaic system. Basically, it takes your weight and it's a ratio with your weight and height and all that kind of good stuff. And people use it to try to determine if you're natural and if you're overweight. And, you know, BMI, longevity statistics show us that people that are slightly overweight, slightly overweight, just a little bit overweight compared to the BMI on the BMI scale, actually live a little bit longer than folks that are normal weight on the BMI scale. So it just shows us that it's a little bit flawed. It's not perfect. And it has a bad reputation in the lifting industry for good reason. Now, with that established, I'm not a fan of the BMI, but there is one way you can tell if you are in trouble. There is one valid way from a BMI standpoint that you know if you are in deep trouble. And that is if your BMI is over 35. Doesn't matter if you're muscular, doesn't matter if you're fuscular, doesn't matter if you're fat, doesn't matter anything. If your BMI is over 35 and you are carrying around too much weight, and if you look at the actual weight that it, body weight that it requires to get, that requires to get a BMI of 35 or over, you are pretty darn heavy. Okay. And longevity statistics tell us that men over the age of 50, that weigh 240, 250 pounds or more, lose about seven years off their life on average. This isn't speculation. This is real world science. This is a vast pool of statistics. This is about the range of a 35 BMI. So if your body weight is at such a degree, such a level, where your BMI is coming in at 35 or greater, you are at risk for dying early. You are. Now, there's some people that are watching this video that are lying to themselves right now. And they're like, you know, I carry around so much, so much muscle mass. That's why my BMI is over 35 and all that kind of good stuff. You know, um, you probably do have a little bit of muscle mass. The problem is that as the body ages and your human growth hormone levels decrease, the body, the human, your hormones have to maintain that mass. Your heart has to maintain that mass. It's a lot of stress on the heart. It's a lot of stress hormonally. Every 10 years after the age of 35, your human growth hormone levels are just dropping something by like 50%. So your body has a harder time recovering. And the more mass you have, the harder it is for your body to maintain and repair and recover every cell in the body, all that mass. Compound that with the fact that... Um, you know, the, the heart has to maintain that mass. And we also have all this knowledge on heavier BMIs, the impact of being heavy from a BMI standpoint on cancer and all these kind of diseases, um, you know, and health risks. We know that being above 35 in the BMI is not a good place to be. So don't fool yourself. If your BMI is that, ha is that high, you need to lose weight. You need to get yourself to a healthier body weight. Forget that the BMI standard is crap. This is a really good tool, and it's about one of the only really good uses of the BMI. You can go measure your BMI today, and if it's above 35, it's time for you to look in the mirror and really get and ask yourself, is it time just to stop lying to myself, or is it time to lose weight? When you get above 300 pounds, and that's a much heavier BMI, um, you know, you're probably going to lose 10 to 14 years off your life because you don't really see a lot of 60 year old men over the age, uh, excuse me, over the weight of 30. So the BMI, if your BMI is over 35, time to go out, time to lose some fat. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.